Um, hello, all. Welcome to the campaign's office hour for December. Um, uh, end of November, we, we had to delay it a little bit because of the holidays uh, and time off in the foundation and other contexts. Um, so welcome. Um, we wanted to remind you a little bit of what the campaign's office hour is. This is a place for us to kind of learn and reflect on uh, different things. Uh, Topics related to campaigns. Uh, this uh, this session is going to be very focused on one local unrest and the new year. Um, and we want you to connect with other people working on campaigns and learning different things and share findings. Uh, these we record the first part of the office hours so that we create a record of what's going on in the community around campaign practices that we can share and use in the future for for other conversations. Uh, but after the presenters are done, we will turn off, uh, uh, we'll stop recording um, and and uh, crop the uh, edit out any other kind of commentary so that you can ask questions in the reflection window of the, the meeting. Um, reminder who the team is at the foundation who's working on campaigns, uh, me and Felix, but uh, there is a large network of practitioners out there in the movement. Uh, who make all of this possible. We're just, we're learners and supporters of that uh, as, as it's happening. Um, so as I mentioned, we're going to look a little bit at where Wikipedia 20, uh, th this is going to be focused on the new year, uh, and two sets of projects. Uh, Wikipedia 20 and campaigns, like what we can do to align uh, with the birthday celebration. Um, uh, one level one rep and what we're thinking about that, and then a little bit of a discussion about the future of campaigns office hours um, for those of you that are here. So I will hand over to uh, our colleagues in the communications department who can talk about Wikipedia 20 and campaigns. And uh, Felix, is there anything else we should mention before we move on? No, I think we can go on. Yep. Um, so we'll hand over to our colleagues and they will introduce just what's happening and how you might think about from the campaign space. Thanks, Yannix. Um, my name is Kanyin Bumwana. I'm the creative director within the communications department at the foundation, and I am leading all the Wikipedia 20 activities. Um, I'm here with my colleague, Lauren. I thought I was with my colleague Lauren. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hi. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to jump in, but hi everyone. I'm I'm Lauren. So happy to be here. Um, I am also um, a member of the communications department at the Wikimedia Foundation, supporting this awesome birthday campaign. Great. So um, we won't take too much time. Next slide, please. So a lot of the things that we're excited about um, in terms of Wikipedia 20 is the possibilities that it brings. Um, we are focusing kind of on telling the stories of the human beings that support the, the, the free knowledge movement um, and make it possible. So that's everyone from volunteers um, within the movement around the world to donors to who keep us going to foundation staff, every single person who has touched this movement has made it possible and that's what we want to celebrate. Um, and the reason we're doing that is because, you know, it's something that quite frankly, a lot of people outside of our movement don't know that this movement is built and sustained by human beings who are so passionate about free knowledge. And so we want to tell those stories. Um, next slide, please. So in terms of campaigns in Wikipedia 20, um, because we're celebrating the best of human ingenuity, generosity, collaboration, creativity, resilience that can be found in our movement and the work that we do, um, really, we just want you to think simply about how your campaign highlights the best of those things um, and let that guide the theme of however you decide to run your campaign in the next year. Um, it really is that simple to us. We don't really want to be too prescriptive in terms of exactly what direction you take but you know as long as there's as always a human element to it uh, which i think isn't difficult because the work that we do is inherently supportive of human knowledge of human everything um 
Next slide, please. So um, we do have a number of helpful birthday resources, which you can find on Meta. Some of them aren't there yet, but as we keep adding things, we will send communications out. Um, some of which are the messaging toolkit, which kind of guide you a little bit on the theme and how to approach the theme and different forms of messaging that you can use. Um, we also have DIY symbol kits, if you'd like to make some of your own symbols, like the one on the left hand side. Uh, we'll have presentation templates if you plan on presenting, social media and press assets for if you, know, you want to use them for your event slash campaign. Um, as well as, you know, event resources, etc. So, yeah, that's kind of us. Um, I'd love to engage anyone who is thinking about incorporating the theme um, of celebrating all things human. Um, yeah, happy to help. Lauren, would you like to add anything? Thanks, Connie. Um, I think the only thing that I would add is that um, we are working to add a campaign specific section to that MetaWiki birthday page. Um, right now we have events listed and we're going to add a new subsection um, for campaigns that are relevant to the 20th birthday theme. Um, on top of that, if you are having a an event for your campaign that connects to the birthday, feel free to add it to MetaWiki as well. Um, and I think, yeah, that, that about covers it. Happy to take questions and talk more. And um, I, I, I'm also a little bit later in our conversation about One Level One Ref, we're gonna highlight how we're kind of customizing a bit of One Level One Ref to meet this theme. And we kind of want to model that with more campaigns. So if you're interested in hi, that. Why you, I don't want that. Um, hi, hi, Stephen, were you wanting to ask something? You're unmuted. Um, so uh, I, I'll be highlighting how we're going to do that with one of one ref, and we can provide examples uh, of kind of ways of thinking about this. Um, if anyone wants has any questions, uh, some, are are you all leaving soon? Uh, do you have to run, or are you staying till the end for the Q and A? Lauren and Connie. I can stay. I think Lauren has a meeting. Yeah, I'm, I can be on for about 15 more minutes. Um, so feel free to leave comments or questions in the sidebar, and then uh, we'll have some time in the Q&A to follow up. So thank you, Lauren and um, Felix. OK. So um, having spoken about the human element of the wiki and the kind of support, that we're looking at giving out. I think it's also very important to speak about One Day One Ref, which is the only campaign that we run from the Wikimedia Foundation. Next slide. So citations, you all agree with me, I'm an integral part of um, Wikipedia's relevance and credibility, and One Day One Ref seeks to heighten that particular uh, bit of Wikipedia. Um, also, One Live One Rev is the only campaign within the movement that solicits for um, citations in order to improve the credibility of our articles. So it's a very important um, campaign for all of us um, every year. Next slide, please. Now, the campaign works in a very simple fashion. So it just invites everybody and emphasizes the fact that anyone can actually contribute to Wikipedia. Uh, the campaign invites um, the general public by highlighting um, the gaps that currently exist on Wikipedia in terms of um, citation and then solicits um, um, your support or the support of the public using um, very simple approaches. The campaign also makes it very simple um, for adding citations as compared to normal um, or, or, or um, as compared to normal Wikipedia editor tones that require a lot of contribution, this uses a basic simple tactic to just add um, a simple citation to um, a Wikipedia article. Next slide, please. Next slide, please.
Felix, did you want the statistics or the experiments? Yeah, yes, yeah, the, the statistics. Oh, sorry, I, I went past that. Um, there I we think go. there's a lag in my internet, so. Yeah, you're, you're on the statistics page. Okay, good. So the journey so far. Um, one of one I've started initially with just the January campaign, which runs um, every year, but then we've added one more, um, which runs in May. And so annually we run two campaigns to um, meet the needs of all our communities, both the Southern and the Northern Hemisphere. Um, since the campaign started, we've been able to gun some um, 73,000 edits in, one, in more than 110 languages, uh, with over 2,000 people contributing to the platform and over 600 librarians contributing to this campaign. Um, even though the campaign does not focus on writing new articles, we have churned more than 900 new articles out of the campaign and improved more than 11,700 articles. Next slide, please. You're on the next one. Okay, great. So um, having done all of this work with Wonderbun Rev, um, over the years, we've been looking for ways to improve the way the campaign runs and to find new opportunities to extend the campaign within our extensive network. So we deduced um, the ambassador strategy where we um, worked with our community leaders or existing community organizers to provide support for one one ref and this was a way that we could scale the campaign because um, I mean myself and Alex cannot do this alone the campaign has been run all across the continent and a lot of people are contributing to it wherever they are so providing these ambassadors at the forefront of these regions to provide support to these people was very essential and this is one experiment that we put in place the other experiment that we tried was to provide um, regional expertise and regional partnership for uh, the campaign. So we found institutions that we wanted um, to break through their circle. So librarians are a big deal for one Libon Rev. And so we found librarians um, within the context of the regions that we wanted to break through. And then we worked with them to actually reach those professional networks. And uh, we also adapted the campaign locally for regions to provide specific needs to those people who wanted to participate. Next slide. So having spoken about some of the things that we put in place, I think it's very important to show you practically what we did with one partner. So AFLIA is the African Federation for Libraries, Institutions, and Associations in Africa. And um, we work with AFLIA to see some growth or to project some growth within one of them. So the partnership with AFLIA was very crucial because we have we, we've, we've been working so long, so long for um, trying, to, trying to find opportunities to break through the um, African Librarians Network. And Aflia seemed to be the best partner to be able to effect this. So we partnered with Aflia to break through their networks. Um, with this partnership, we, we also allowed Aflia to sort of like localize the context. So even though the context is normally one live one ref, for Africans, it was called the African Librarians Week. And that meant something to them that was easy for them to resonate with. And then it, it pulled in a lot of edits. Now, after the May campaign, um, because of this partnership, we garnered some 32,000 um, edits. And that was like 394% year on year uh, from last year. And out of this 32,000 edits that we garnered, uh, more than 85% of that was from the African Librarians Network. So it shows that partnership space sometimes. Next. So what have we learned? Um, we have learned that it's very important to find um, a partner whom would be able to facilitate um, your um, campaigns to the audience, target audience that you're looking for. So normally when you're um, running campaigns, you have a target audience that you plan for. And then um, there's an audience that you are actually planning the campaign around. And finding a partner that can help you break through those circles is often very important. Um, also, creating your campaigns in such a way that it allows people to locally adapt the campaigns is very crucial because when that happens, it allows flexibility um, of, of, of running the campaigns in the various regions and it allows people to easily tailor suit the campaign to their needs. Now, standardizing campaign resources also allows or ensures scalability because if these content resources are created in a way that anybody can just take and use or in formats that are readily accessible, it makes it easy for anybody to just sit anywhere and participate in your campaign. Um, also putting on your campaign pages clear contribution methods, that, that would make it easy for people to actually navigate and choose what kind of participation or contribution they want to make to the campaign based on their skill level. 
So it's very important to create clear contribution methods so that your different or diverse audiences can choose what they want to do and then be able to affect that. Then working with community leaders are very important. We don't normally realize that community leaders are experts within the Wikimedia community. So working with them is sometimes very crucial to reach the audiences that you want to reach as you can do everything from, um, from one point of view or by yourself. Next slide. So what are we looking at doing in the future? In 2021, we are heavily focusing on um, growing the campaign within the CE region. This is particularly, particularly because the CE region um, is a very diverse group of people with a lot of massive contributions churning, being churned out every year. But only one ref has never been a home for the CE. And we think there is a big or unique opportunity to actually enter into those communities and try to pull some edits um, that will help improve the quality of the various language articles that exist within the region. We are also looking forward to growing within this um, Southeast Asia because we think there's a lot of potential for Asia being the largest continent in the world with the um, highest number of um, people living on earth in that continent. We think it's also very crucial to represent the diverse um, cultures and backgrounds that emanate from that region. And then we are also looking at providing more targeted topical campaigns with Alex will be speaking more about later on. So at this point, I, I am done with just showing you what we've done with Wonder Wonder over the years and um, sort of like talking into what we are looking at achieving in the next uh, or in the coming years. Um, at this point, I just hand over to Karana to tell us more about what we're looking at doing this year. Uh, thank you, Felix. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Gorana Gomiras, the manager at Wikimedia Serbia. Uh, first, I want to say how grateful I am to be here today with you and for being able to tell you a little bit more about One Live, One Ref 2021 CE strategy. Uh, as, you, as you may know, Wikimedia Serbia is a part of the CE region and we had great results in this campaign in the past few years. So um, this is why we want to uh, share our experience and contribute to the improvement of this campaign. Next slide, please. So why CE region? Uh, it may sound like a um, random choice at first glance, but the CE region is actually very connected. Over the years, we organized joint activities such as CE Spring competition or CE meeting conference during which we have the opportunity to cooperate with each other. And besides that, that we, um, we have opportunity to meet each other in person, to exchange opinions, to brainstorm about some ideas. And uh, these things make a lot easier to cooperate with each other. So we are connected in the long run. <laughs> also, the CEO region has really strong wiki communities, um, very important activities, very important campaigns, but sometimes um, it needs uh, incentive to, 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 per to participate in certain activities, like the One Live One Rap campaign. Um, sometimes it is uh, necessary to take that first step and indicate how important a campaign really is in many segments, and how easy it is to be a part of this campaign and to actually participate and give really great results. Also, a large number of C chapters and uh, user groups already have uh, developed a GLAM program and uh, cooperation with libraries. So this is great first step to actually participate in this campaign because the focus of, of this is libraries and librarians. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, what is new in One Live, One, One Rap and what have we changed? Uh, first, One Live, One Rap will be in the form of a competition for CE countries. Uh, by participating in the competition, the motivation of the editors is uh, really increased. Uh, by joining, the, the participants um, get to get the opportunity to learn a lot from other participants that they could apply in their activity in this campaign or some other activities, maybe create some, some new ones, some new campaign or thematic week or anything. And 
since uh, this campaign is held for the first time in this way in the CEO region, and many chapters and uh, user groups have not participated so far, uh, in December we will organize trainings for participants to discuss the, the campaign itself, but also their strategy for participation in the competition. Uh, uh, we will talk with them about their collaboration with libraries and, of course, with the level of knowledge of editing Wikipedia uh, that libraries or librarians have. So, uh, since this campaign is global and all activities are transferred online, we will also organize an online opening ceremony, which will be one of the, the rare opportunities for Wiki librarians from different countries to gather but also to present this campaign as a joint attempt to improve it and to show how important the contribution of each individual is. On a weekly basis, we will also uh, keep participants informed of progress so they know uh, how they are doing, uh, which place they are uh, at, at uh, the list of, of participants, and of course the most uh, hard-working ones will uh, receive prizes. Next slide, please. And what do we want to achieve with all of these changes and with organizing one Live one ref uh, special for CEO region? As you can see, uh, the core of this campaign is the same, adding references to Wikipedia and making Wikipedia more uh, reliable. Uh, but also we want to encourage, encourage librarians to participate. However, uh, in this way we want to encourage as many chapters and user groups as possible to participate, uh, to develop collaboration with uh, libraries and to train li li librarians to edit Wikipedia independently. Uh, also we want to point out to, to librarians the wealth they are surrounded by every day and in what ways they can contribute to the whole world with their knowledge and with their work environment. Uh, finally, uh, we want to make Wikipedia as reliable as possible, as you can all agree with me. So one live one ref is a really good way to do that. That is all for me. <laughs> Thank you, Girana. Um, it, it's so great to grow into the CE region. We've been kind of watching library outreach happen for years in CE, but we, we've we not seen that same pickup uh, with uh, One Love, One Rap. And you've been a really powerful leader in helping us ask that question, like, how do we do this better in the local context? Um, it's a really good example of how we've been trying to localize the campaign in different ways. Uh, and we were also experimenting this year with a, a human challenge uh, alongside the, the uh, uh, human theme for the Wikipedia birthday. Uh, in order to kind of test uh, another theory, as Gurana mentioned, uh, a competition has been really important for getting existing Wikipedia communities involved in campaigns. Um, and so we're going to try that. Um, and we're trying that because we, we have this uh, scope at the Wikimedia Foundation, a long-running long running cooperation with UN Human Rights about uh, how do we get human rights knowledge on Wikipedia. So you may remember this campaign from about a year and a half ago, Wiki for Human Rights. And we were very fortunate to have the Brazilian community do a local version of this campaign. In their own context recently um, and it, it, it's 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 a good call to action uh, that's focused on how do we improve human rights content on uh, Wikimedia projects um, we we had a, a good showing of participation uh, for the campaign last year uh, about 210 editors across 12 languages and a lot of different contexts from Argentina to Tanzania to Eastern Europe communities um, to uh, all over the world, uh, kind of writing human rights content during the campaign. Uh, but we, we also wanted to see like, what can we do to improve it? Um, and so this year, we're instead of running a one singular campaign, we're gonna run a series of challenges that go within the existing kind of campaign space that's happening in the movement. Um, the first, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this in the next slide, is One Love, One Ref Human Challenge, uh, which will focus on human rights citations uh, in the community. 
Um, then we are, uh, like we did last year, UN Human Rights is gonna help sponsor parts of Wikigap Challenge, uh, which is uh, expanding the uh, Wikimedia Sweden uh, 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 Wikigap campaign focused on writing women's biographies. And then we're gonna look at the human theme uh, through Earth Day uh, in April. Um, and we'll, we'll have more information about that in January or February. But uh, our, our focus this year is instead of trying to make Wiki for Human Rights one campaign is to spread that human theme uh, across existing kind of campaign tactics in the movement. Um, so what is the human challenge for One Love One Ref? Uh, we are gonna have an additional challenge uh, that is not focused on competition amongst librarians, but any Wikimedian uh, who wants to be part of the human challenge uh, can just add Wiki for Human Rights in the edit summary. Uh, and we want new citations on Wikimedia projects about either human rights topics or adding human rights topics to existing articles. Um, and we're gonna try this with a light competition, including uh, some swag from the Wikimedia store to, to uh, add as prizes for people who contribute the most uh, to this campaign. Um, and we're also gonna be focused, so we'll have some prizes for the biggest competitors, but we'll also have a couple of prizes for people who contribute in non-UN languages. So languages other than the UN seven. Um, and so we, our hope is really to encourage a diversity of participants to, to look into this uh, kind of knowledge gap, like where does human rights uh, fit into a community of projects? And uh, as I mentioned, this is kind of part of our experiments to, to grow and live one ref and to uh, kind of more, more parts of the community and give space and calls to action that are appealing to different audiences. Uh, the librarian audience is often very, very good to reach out to for adding citations, and that's what we saw with Aplia. But we also want to invite Wikipedia communities and Wikimedia uh, communities to participate. Um, so we're, this is an experiment we're running, uh, and if you want more information, we can definitely share that with you. Uh, but that is our, um, yeah, our update.